Hey you folks, Coolie Team here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play A Little Sundog The Fro Frozen Legacy. One of my favorite games of all time, running here on an Atari ST emulator, because the game's over 20 years old. So we are on in the System of Glory, on Planet Glory 1, in the city of Lagosol. Um, and what I've decided to do is I'm going to buy something over here. I'm going to assume this is a fairly wealthy and high-tech planet, so I'm going to buy something sort of high-tech-y. Um, you know what I might do? Again, I don't know if like the quality is something that is indicative of anything. Um, I was wondering about buying a couple of pharmaceuticals. I'm not seeing that much tech actually. Let's buy a couple of pharmaceuticals. It won't use up all my money. We're gonna sell it, store it in the pod, and then what I was gonna do is fly back to John and see if we could make some money on something like that. Although before I do that, oh, is there only one pharmaceuticals? Stock embryos. Um, let's do Calm Gear. Now, I forgot to write down the uh, the pharmaceuticals. It was about 6K, I think. Um, and we'll buy some Calm Gear at 12.8 over here. So we're going to spend almost all of our money. We're going to store it in our pod. You can store things in the warehouse as well. Um, and so what we're going to do is drop out of this and see what we can do. We may try to sell it on the other planet to see if we can turn a bigger profit. We'll see how it goes. Um, at least take a little gander. So I want to do a couple of trips like this, make a little bit of money, and then without cargo, we're going to go to Wormed and we're going to buy some cool tech stuff, and then we'll be defending ourselves from pirates. So if I check over here in my cargo, I can see our pharmaceuticals and comm gear. Now it's possible that everything that gets sold... Um, is all stuff that they, they have fairly plentiful, so you could, you know, you're generally going to get a good price from it. I guess the bigger question might be um, whether or not you're going to be able to sell it for a decent price somewhere else, and that might be the biggest target. Um, as far as I can tell, tech levels are based on systems, so, like, tech level wealth and also some extra supply and demand uh, does take effect... Um, in, in the prices, so that's fairly realistic. Um, so tech level is sort of system-based, wealth and things like that, also system and planet and cities. Like, you can actually trade within cities and maybe make some money, but probably not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plan on warping back to the John system over here. Although, some of these are a little shorter. You know what? It's fine. I'm going to sublight. And I know I was talking about going to Glory 2, but we're just going to go ahead and leave over here and see what we can do with this. Hopefully, we'll turn a profit. No idea whatsoever. Um, how am I doing? Oh, is that condition red? Uh, tactical. Shields. Full shields. Um, maybe we can talk our way out of it. Calm. Uh, hello. Uh, we're gonna try to discuss it. Uh, we'll try just try to talk our way out of it. Aha! We have avoided a fight. But well, you can see the, the tracking the, the tracking here. If I were to go to uh, to guns and choose say the lasers, okay, it's gone now. But when it pan around and try to get the blip to be in both arcs, if at all possible, uh, we can go ahead and turn our shields off, uh, navigate, do warp. I think oh, I think the warp number actually affects how much you might need for warp. There's, there's something. I don't remember. There's something with that as well. You get the super awesome warp screen. Excellent. And go back to sublight. So that's the planet Heavy, which is not the planet John. Oh my god, we're being attacked. I don't know if we tried to fight this one. Annihilator? Come on. I'll discuss it. Fast talk. Uh-oh. Okay. We gotta fight. Guns. Full shield. Laser. So, I gotta scroll up, get the dot in there. There he is. And then I somehow have got to shoot this guy. He's a little further away. He's gonna get closer and bigger. Now, at some point... Oh my god, our shields are being obliterated. We've arrived at the planet. I'm... I heard the, the sound. Navigate. Land. <laughs> oh my god, look how many systems of ours got obliterated. 
We lost some of our warp, our subsea, most of our guns, tactical, some of our piloting, our hull's been damaged. Fighting is super dangerous in this game. Super dangerous. Um, although, again, you can get a few extra things. You can get cloaking devices. You can get um, you can get some sort of compressor for your guns. Um, there's um, there's a couple other things we can get tech wise. But ow. Okay. Well, we gotta her 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 hope bleh, that we are gonna turn a profit here because oh, how am I doing hunger wise and everything? Uh, let's go and eat a burger and get a little sleep. I don't know if, like, literally the, the this is the best place to sleep, but we're going to do that. Um, so how badly beat up were we? Like, look at this stuff. It's so brutal. So we need uh, ST Distorter. Yeah, traveling with cargo is dangerous. Well, Claire Shields are still there. That's another ST Distorter, right? Yep. Times two... The uh, shunts uh, blow up real easy, real easy. So if you do use a lot of shunts, um, your systems are going to fall apart pretty quickly. I think the Annihilator is a particularly dangerous one as well. Uh, so we need um, node times two. I know I've got one in storage, uh, but I'm trying to keep that one as a spare. Uh, diamond and what was this one? Plasma. Plasma. I don't know. We might not do all the repairs right away. Oh, is there any other systems? Okay, no, I got those. And our hull's been blown up. Man, I hope we can turn a profit with this load. The more valuable your load, the more uh, likely pirates are going to come after you. Because presumably there's tons and tons of, um, of ships in space with you, and they're constantly scanning you, right? And that's why, like, you're more likely to get attacked. It's not like pirates are there by magic. It's just that they can they scan you and then they know oh this is this is a valuable load to uh, to risk attacking. If you don't have anything, they don't give a crap. Okay, so I got my shopping list, uh, but for now, let's hope we can turn some profit here. Let's see what we can do. And yeah, we should um, assuming we turn a profit on this, which is a big assumption. At least the repairs and the fuel aren't that expensive. Wow, this fuel is really cheap here. Fuel is cheap on heavy. Let's take note of that. Maybe, I don't know. Um, and where's the stock exchange here on heavy? He ain't heavy, he's my brother. Uh, we can take a look at the bank, although... Um, I think I think I can park here, actually. I think you can park anywhere as long as it's in the square of a building, because it's not the street. But we'll find out, we might get booted. Uh, no, no money there. All right, where's your stock exchange? But yeah, I think um, I think the money is planet wide. I don't think it's city based, so we don't have to check every little city for that. You might not have a stock exchange. That is entirely possible. You might have some some in one of your other cities. It means we have to take the big sublight trip all the way into Planet John. Oh, okay, there's more city over here. Oh, there's a lot more city. Come on, stock exchange. Where are you? There are maps available online for all these places. Okay, not here. Lots of banks. I can't remember. I feel like you can go into this building, too. I should check, actually. Oh, there it is. Woohoo! Okay, so let's see. Sell from the pod. Com gear. Wow. At least it keeps track of what you paid. Okay, so we've turned a profit on pharmaceuticals, but not com gear. Now, so we'll do that. So why? So either this planet's not as wealthy, or the problem is that the tech level in the John system is higher than Glory. I'm gonna make a note. Um, glory. 
Capcom gear. I'm going to go like up arrow in my notes to remind myself that it's expensive. And John, that was Glory 1 technically. Um, John slash Heavy. Com gear seems to be cheap. So we're not going to sell this here, but we may be tempted to purchase something then. I don't know what CAD cams are. Okay, see, the wood fibers here is more expensive than it was on the other planet. I mean, it's pretty cheap and may not be worthwhile. I think those droids are cheaper. I think these are cheaper droids than we saw in Glory. And these, these may be the droids we're looking for. I'm going to buy them. Store them in my pod. Okay. Let's blow this pop sand. We could check to see if there's any cryo people as well. To make a load that way. Um... Now the question is, where do I fly to? I probably could fly to Glory and sell the droids. But I feel like we should go somewhere else. Maybe I'll go to Jond. Let's go to Jond itself. For all we know, we can sell other bits cheaper there. Um, later on, yeah, we'll get a button here that's city to city. Once we've got the ground scanner and we can fly directly to another city, we can do that. And they may not have service stations. Oh, I didn't actually repair my ship. I got the shields. The subsea being low and the warp being low is maybe a little scary. Let's do some shunt-based tweaking while we're in here. Oh, for crying out loud, that did not take long enough. Get in here. Tactical. Guns. Full shields. Lasers. Come on, punk. My god, this is hard to do. And it was hard as a kid, too. How come I can't shoot? Because, my, oh, my guns and tactical are all down. We just mostly have to hope that we can land before it blows me up. Oh my god, we almost got no hull. Come on. Do it. Land quickly. Land quickly. Oh no, I think our, our subsea engines are out. Oh, we died. What was our last save point? God damn it. If it's not a good one, I did do a memory save in between episodes here, so. <laughs> Space combat. Man. So, uh, yeah, what's our situation here? You know what? Just because it's going to be faster than loading from disk. I am going to load from a memory slap snapshot, which is right here. Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I hit play. Hold on. It might still work. Maybe? I think it might not work. Oh, God, what are we going to do? You guys! Oh, yes! All right, took a while to load in, but we're okay. So, uh, we haven't purchased anything yet. Um, so I'm not going to buy the comm gear. Pharmaceuticals. Yeah, they were, they're fairly cheap. I'm wondering, so they list comm gear. But yeah, see, I don't know what this represents. So I'm wondering about buying more organic type stuff. Like literally buy some organics. So we're going to do the same thing, but we won't buy the comm gear. Maybe the quality B, maybe that's the way to go. Chronographs. Okay. I'm going to buy chronographs on glory. And it's quality B. I have no idea if that has anything to do with anything or if it's just setting sort of base price and it's still being modified by everything else. But hey, at least our ship is intact this time. You know, in hindsight, I'm wondering if we shouldn't have gone to Wormed right away and uh, just tried to, to pimp our ship up with, um, with some tech. But I feel like we've got to do a little bit of money run. Okay. Let's do this. We can do it. All systems are intact. That's good. We're going to navigate. We're going to lift off. 
forgot we could actually set our warp even before we start the liftoff, which might be a good safety thing. I don't know if we can be attacked in orbit. I suppose if we are attacked in orbit, we can just land right away. So we'll set the warp. We're going to plan to go back to Jond over here. I'm still going to do that. I'm still going to land on heavy. Let that start charging. Yeah, I think this is probably a safer way to go. The only question is how long it takes you to get to a safe warp spot. And that's one of the things that work, makes the Wormed system so dangerous, is the fact that it's right next to the sun. Actually, this one's fairly close to the sun as well. We'll start moving. There we go. We're moving now. You see the warp numbers are going up. And the warp charging is going up. So I don't know. I think there's a chance to fail the warp if you do it too soon, and it might reset your engines. I think that's what I'm remembering now from way back when. So what we'll do is we'll wait for the red alert to start, if it starts, and then we'll maybe try the warp. Looks like we're probably going to be able to make it to the um, the warp spot. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Red alert. Shields are not up. But it does take a little while before they get within firing range. We got out of the glory system just fine. And I think when you arrive, it puts you at a different warp jump spot. I know that's really loud, but I love it so much. I think it puts you at a different warp spot, so it can take different amounts of time to get somewhere. But yeah, see, we're pretty close to heavy. So we'll start moving there. And we'll see what we can sell. So we got the B quality chronos, and I think we got the pharmaceuticals again. I don't remember what quality they were. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Tactical. Well, let's put the shields up anyway. Here, we'll switch to cannons. Maybe we can do something. Oh, it's not even... Oh, there it is. It's within range. So now we got to bring you around the other way. And we're just waiting for the blip of... You should be, you should be centered here. Where are you? Don't tell me you've got, like, a stunner. Oh, there you are. Our cloaker is what I meant to say. I hit him. We did some damage. I think we're actually at the planet. Yeah, let's just land. Screw those guys. Screw those guys. I'm going, well, not home. This is the planet of Heavy. Presumably named, I don't know, maybe it's a really big planet. Got a lot of gravity. Should we make the same junk a joke as last time? He ain't heavy. He's just my brother. He ain't heavy. It's just my planet. All right. I love the little ETA and everything. Like, everything about this is just wonderful. Okay, let's see if we can actually sell this as a profit. At a profit. Try not to die. God damn, that was brutal. And actually, having the uh, the sublight engines being damaged in the first battle uh, made it a lot more dangerous because we were then going a lot slower and it was that much harder for us to escape the second battle. Sell from our pod. Chronographs. No! All right, so it's definitely not the quality. I don't know how to how to judge this. The organics technically made some money. Feeling like this is a higher tech area, maybe. So yeah, I'll buy the droids. We'll store them in the pod. Maybe I'll just go back to glory. Although yeah, it was the same thing. We're like, okay, well the goods are no are no good. So, in presumably, the chronographs on Glory are expensive. So, we're not going to buy them there. Um, the organics are, we don't know. We have no number about the organics, other than they're about even on both Glory and Heavy. We don't know what that means. Oh, I need to I need to fuel up. If you run out of fuel in space, you can put out a distress call. People will fill you up. It's very expensive, and you have to wait around for a while. Meanwhile, you're vulnerable to attack, so very bad things can happen. At least, again, the fuel here is fairly cheap. So that was an unprofitable trip. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, my God. And, uh, and yeah, I, uh, as far as I know, the values get randomized. So every time you play... You can't really depend on knowing where to go. There's some 
I think there's some things you can kind of count on. Okay, um, do we go to a jaunt? We may as well, because we don't have to do a jump. Although that's where we died last time. But we're going to give it a try. I mean, push comes to shove, we could go and just jettison something. Um, I think something some people do is pick up ox fuel, and then they, like, jettison the, the ox fuel if they get asked. All right. So while that's going, I'm going to go to tactical screen right away so I'm ready to raise my gun, my shields. I don't remember if, like, this changes when we stop moving. Certainly the warp goes to zero, so that's the other way to be able to tell when we've reached a planet, though. I think the warp is lower as we go closer to the sun, and then as we approach a planet, it rapidly goes to zero. Which makes sense. Gravity well. I think I kept struggling to find, like, the right phrase for it. I think gravity well is the phase, the phrase. Okay, so far so good. How close are we? Oh, we're nearly there. Oh, then we're getting attacked, but we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to land before they take a shot at us. I'm pretty sure. Maybe. So we don't have shields up. There we go. Land. We could still fight in orbit, like, if we felt confident, but I clearly do not. I remember as a kid, I used to be able to blow up ships fairly often, but there might, so there might be, like, a little input difference or a game speed difference or something like that, or it just, I don't know, I suck and have old man, like, reflexes now. If other people uh, end up playing this game, you'll have to let me know how you do in your combat. I know it does get easier once you get all the, uh, the black market tech, though, because you can really uh, make your ship a pretty badass force to be reckoned with. We'll top off our fuel again, just to make sure. Probably only need, like, one unit or something like that. I don't know what the relative price is here compared to heavy. That's ah, still pretty cheap. I mean, we are using up money, but it's still cheap. I don't remember seeing the stock exchange on John here, so I don't know where it's placed. So we didn't go looking for it. I probably should have loaded up a bunch of stuff here before I went to glory the first time, just to make the, you know, the, the first way trip worthwhile. Where are you? Keep seeing red buildings, but they're the wrong red buildings. Oi! There's one. Now, one thing that's nice is I think if you're if you're hauling uh, cryogenics to the colony, I don't think they tend to attract pirates. Chronographs. No. And again, I do expect the prices to basically be... Oh, we made a little bit of profit here. So buying droids on heavy and selling them on John made us a tiny bit of money. Not a whole heck of a lot, but it's something. Um, Com gear at 10,000. I think we paid 12.8 on glory last time. So this is a slightly cheaper Com gear price. I don't know if it's insanely cheap, but it's there. Yeah, I'll need like a spreadsheet. Oh my god, all of a sudden I'm playing EVE Online. Um, Calm gear. 10k. Alright, I'm going to buy this. Store it in a pod. So I still have two goods over here. We're going to make a trip to something that's not wormed. Is going to be the idea here. Um, try, we're going to sell everything regardless. Then we're going to go to Warmed and buy some black market stuff. Uh, one of the things is a requirement is a ground scanner. And then after we do the ground scanner, we want to come back here and probably, uh, with cryogens and find the lost colony. Because then once we find the lost colony, it'll be in the ground scanner so that we can fly there directly and start delivering cryogens. I don't think, know if we get money for doing that. Unfortunately. Now, getting from John to the warp point might be a little tricksy here, unfortunately. And I really don't know the difference between the cannon and the, um, the lasers. Maybe the cannons have more of a splash. That would be kind of nice. Um, so, no, not wormed. We'll go to... Uh, that's a little further away as well. You got to look at the actual JSEC, which is partially based on actual distance. There, we'll go to Lapser. Um, but partially based on, like, the size here sort of represents sort of distance. Something like that. And, of course, where you are. But I don't think there's any way to get here without an extra jump boost. Um, I guess I should give a sublight instruction as well. So we'll just go to the closest jump point over here. The planets do move around the sun, I think, very slowly. I don't know what their system is, but 
There, there's definitely something there. Again, I'm going to be ready over here. But we should just be able to warp away pretty easily if something shows up. We're not that far from the uh, the edge. Yeah, we should be 100% fine. Navigate. And we just wait because the halt goes away, so the new warp ends up here. Very easy to accidentally misclick. Prepare yourself for awesome warp sounds! I will never not love that. It's the greatest. Okay. So, oh, that is very close to the system center. That's a long, long trip. I'm a little concerned, but I'm sure we're going to be fine, right? The Phantom, I believe this guy cloaks. Well, let's go ahead and try to talk our way out of it first. Discuss it. Fast talk. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think that guy cloaks the Phantom. They're very annoying. They don't show up. Yeah, he doesn't show up on the radar, so you just have to sort of get lucky to, like, pan around and find him. Very, very, very annoying. Oh, is this the same guy? Nope. Did not work this time. Full shields. Cannon. Oh, no, we do get a radar sensor on this guy, so I don't know. There is one that's... A, it might just be called a cloaker. Okay, so I don't have to be right on to shoot him, which is nice. It's actually not as fast as some of these others. He's also not doing as much damage. This guy is so not as threatening as the Annihilator. I think our, we're very close to our destination, which is nice. Our shields are still good. Oh yeah, this guy's so less scary. Yeah, we just arrived. I don't think it's worth like sitting here and shooting him. We are simply going to land. Oh, we took a hit in our tactical. So the tactical, I believe, affects your your sensors. It may also affect your accuracy. I'm not sure. So we'll have to look for a replacement part. You can actually make a fair amount of money buying some parts. Like the um, the control nodes don't get sold everywhere, and they're quite valuable. Uh, you, they're like 1,700 on John. Um, so you can like sell them in um, in bars. You can actually ask the bartender that and say you're interested in selling something. You can go wait in the booth until someone comes and talk to you. Which is kind of nifty. Um, it was our tactical. I don't think it's up here. Because that's warp and sublight. And guns. Okay, so the tactical's at the bottom. We're going to find out what's missing. We could just shunt it for now. We'll see. Uh, so we need a tree. Let's see if we can remember to get a tree in here. Without writing it down. Ooh, that's a big risk. It's a big risk you're taking there, Quill. Da -na 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 -na. Boom. Repair ship. Yeah, we didn't take hull damage. We just took system damage. Fill her up. Only 121 a credit. Okay, so it's just glory is really expensive. Basically, maybe we should never buy anything in glory. I think it has high wealth all the time. High wealth and high security. And variable amounts of tech. So you want to sell in glory, maybe not buy there. There might be some things worth buying there. We don't know yet. Come on. Stock exchange. I suppose I just checked the bank. We might have money in the system. And you just need to find a place to park. That's not too far from the bank. I guess we'll just park in the parking lot. Not really a parking spot, but that'll do. I should really be wearing the personal shield for my ship. I didn't at first because... Ah, oh, there you go. Um, because I needed a spot to carry a lot of, like, repair parts. But I don't need all the repair parts. Ground combat is... Differently tricky from space combat. Okay, where's the stock exchange? Come on. Probably passed it at some point. It wouldn't surprise me if I missed one. Because, like, there's a two here, but it's purple. There we go. There's the red two. There's so many red buildings. Um, exchange, sell, pot, chronographs. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna sell everything anyway. Just because we're going we're gonna to be wrapping this up probably next episode. Um, anything in the warehouse? No, nothing. Because you might have had, um, you might have had cryogens. We need to find a repair center, which looks like a wrench, which is very appropriate. Go 
Hopefully there's one closer to my ship. I don't know. I mean, that's where I would put the spare part vendor. He is near the landing port. But, you know, I don't design these cities. Did I just lose landing port? Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's over there. But where's the... Come on. It is possible that some planets don't have everything. I should have been taking note. But I feel like I would have noticed the wrench when I was driving around. No, I probably wouldn't. What am I saying? Um, I'm actually thinking there might not be one. We may just have to shunt that for now. And it's not the worst thing in the universe. Is there even a bar here? Because sometimes you can find stuff like that. Alright, we'll just shunt it. It's fine. Do 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 do. Bump. Oh, yeah, how's my food situation? Yeah, let's eat a burger. We're gonna sleep. And then what we'll do is equip the personal shield as well before we go to Wormed. Do do do. Ground scanner is absolutely going to be the highest priority. Um, tactical display. Boom. That's a little bit better. Ground scanner will absolutely be the top priority. Um, but if we can get... I think the compressor is for guns, and a cloaking device is really handy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go and put a cut in here, and next episode, we're going to get a worm. The never before as you've ever seen a greater hive of scum and villainy or something. Um, and there shouldn't be any pirates along the way because we don't have any cargo. Thanks for watching. See you next time.